Now we will go to our OBM and we'll go to runbook mappings. So this is how you map a runbook in central to OBM so it would be able to execute properly, right? So we have the computer and we created a runbook that runs on the computer CI. And as you see, there are already several runbooks assigned to it. So what we need to do is modify. If there wouldn't be any CIs over here, we would just click on asterisk, select the CI, and then assign the runbooks. But we are not stressed, uh, we're not concerned with that. So we'll go to here and we are going to close. I should have named this folder a little bit better, probably not flows, <laughs> but it's completely fine. Or I should have created another folder structure. So this is how you learn. You push it here. And now you have the properties of every single runbook that uh, belongs to the computer CI, which is completely fine. So the host name would be from the computer from, and it's gonna be the primary, primary DNS name. So it's going to be populated as a variable that previously we had in our constants. Password is going to be the password that we set earlier. I wish there would be a uh, verification, but that's completely fine. And then we're going to do root. Fantastic. We click on OK. And it saved it. We are going back to our workspaces. Let's go to AOS3 because this is the server that we tested it against, although we don't care too much because we, now we can do it on any server. But that's good enough. And now we are going to launch our runbook to do the final test. Let's see, let's see how fast it goes. Yes, the server is under a lot of stress at the moment. Too many developers are sitting on it. All right, so I'm right-clicking the my AOS CI, the, the Node CI in general, or Computer CI, depends on when, where you look at it from. And then, no, it's going to be something else. It's going to be Invoke. Invoke Radbooks. And we have the Trigger Cache Reload. Run it. Let's see. Maybe... Yeah, we have the SSH command, so it doesn't state the command itself. Otherwise, it would be a little bit embarrassing to see a flow that actually tells you that it doesn't do anything, right? But that's okay, because this is not for to prove a point about operation orchestration. It's to prove a point, to prove a point about a order of operations that the main product can do. And in order to progress to the latest operation, you need sometimes to have a simulated step in between just to reach to the end point.